In this video, we will illustrate the various features of the PID loop simulation tool from Excellent Control. We will first run through the various features of the tool and then explain how to use the tool for tuning a loop. This tool works in Microsoft Excel 2010 or later versions. It is intuitive and easy to use. Various options are set using combo boxes on the sheet. The tool simulates first order and integrating processes, the most commonly encountered processes in the chemical process industry. For first order processes, the speed of response can be provided as lag time or time to steady state. Delay time can be provided in minutes or seconds. The tool can simulate series, parallel or interactive PID algorithms. Almost all PID algorithms on major PLC and DCS systems can be simulated with the spreadsheet. The controller gain can be specified as proportional band or gain. Choose between proportional action on error or on process value. The integral term can be specified either as integral time or integral gain, with a choice of different units. Derivative time can be provided in milliseconds, seconds or minutes. First order derivative filtering is also supported. Choose derivative action on error or on process value. The tool provides tuning suggestions that work as a good starting point for tuning. It allows a comparison between two different controller tuning settings. The user can view response in manual mode and auto mode. Response to load change is also shown. Maximum plot time can be selected from 5 minutes to 7 hours. Use a PID loop simulator for loop tuning and for training. To tune a loop using this tool, first estimate the open loop process parameters through a plant test. For noisy processes, you may consider using the system identification tool for excellent control. First. Set the mode to manual. Key in the tag name, description, and ranges in the cells. At the end of the tuning, the sheet may be printed as a report. Let us assume that we have a first order process with the following process parameters. Gain is 1.2, time constant is 60 seconds, and delay time is 30 seconds. Key these numbers into the cells Verify that the open loop response is as per the plan test. Set the control algorithm to that used in the controller. In this illustration, we will assume that the controller used is a Honeywell DCS which uses gain. The integral and derivative times are specified in minutes. Set these options in the tool. The tool provides an estimate of the tuning to be used. These can be used as a starting point for tuning. Now, set the mode to auto and check if the response is satisfactory. If not, tweak the settings. Use a second set of tuning parameters to compare different tuning values. Check that the response to a load change is satisfactory. Once you are satisfied with the tuning results, these can be implemented on the controller. You must have a good understanding of the process and always work closely with the operator during loop tuning. Visit excellentcontrol.com for more de details of this tool.